My curiosity towards many aspects of life is why I became a scientist. My name is Taylor Klein. I grew up in the LA area. I work for Dr. Jaron Hansen and our main uh, umbrella of study is the atmosphere and the environment. Being at BYU, uh, one of the good things is the understanding and the environment of family. Because many of the grad students have children, many of the professors have many children and they have the understanding that even though you're here to work hard and, and develop yourself and move on, that there has to be some other aspect of your life and they take a lot of that into consideration and, and encourage you not to be here 90 hours a week. And depending on the, on the advisor, but my advisor has always encouraged me to come in, work hard so that you can go home to your family, be involved in their life and, and you know, have that as a, as a backing for your research and not just you know, push through it and, and get done, but really enjoy yourself here at BYU. The time you're in college and the time that I've been in graduate school has been directed at developing myself. I've never thought of school as, can I get a degree and then someone will give me a job? But what can I do to develop myself to be a better scientist so that in the future someone you know, will offer me a job? After being in grad school a couple of years, I feel like I'm actually a scientist. The graduate's work uh, helps you focus in onto, onto your specific research. And so instead of being a, you know, a chemist with a bachelor's degree, now I'm a you know, atmospheric chemist and directed towards analytical chemistry, PhD. So there's only a few people in you know, the country who really understand what it is that we're doing in our research because we've gotten so in depth in it that we are now the experts in that field. Our research in the, in the Hansen Group is atmospheric and environmental problems. What I do in the lab is we try to break down those reactions into simplified reactions because the atmosphere is so complicated that we can't pick out what's going on with the individual reactions. We try to separate them out into the lab and recreate that same reaction without having all the other interference. The time away from the lab helps you to uh, kind of recharge to have the, the drive to keep going in the lab, but also it gives kind of meaning to what you do in the lab. And when I'm outside the lab, I play a lot of sports, I do a lot of hiking and mountain biking and things like that, where the, you know, the health effects of pollution are directly involved in what I'm doing outside. And so immediately I have times when I'm you know, in the deep forest and I'm looking at the stars and you can it, my mind just seems to reflect right back to my work. If, if I have just some random research that doesn't apply to anything, it gets difficult. And when things get difficult, if you don't have motivation, you seem to just kind of push them aside or move on to something else. In life, just like in your graduate work, it's, it's what you make of it. And the harder you work and the more diligent you are in taking uh, responsibility for your development, the better uh, you will be in the job market when you're done. And I think at BYU, you get a better opportunity to be uh, pushed along in some aspects when you have that closer relationship with your advisor, whereas uh, you might get a little lost in other places. BYU offers a, a great environment where you can develop yourself into something great. <laughs>